I worked the road six years for the Nighthawks in Bullock County. Special unit, DUIs, spent more nights on I-16 than I care to count. A call came out one night, a 1094, common in that time and place, still is, means drag racing. Some coked out country boys ripping their crotch rockets and scaring the normal folk. So I run code for exit 143 out near Sparrow Falls. Before I get there, two more calls come in. Motor vehicle accident and potential body in the roadway. Somebody's crossed the finish line. And boy, this kid did. Took his Suzuki right under a semi. Tow truck shows up, gets what's left of the bike, and the ambulance does the same with the body. But it's not long before I have these paramedics telling me they got a problem. They look up and down the shoulder, underside the truck, the road, but they can't seem to find this guy's head. So they recruit me and my mag light to comb the tree line. Something about how going 200 miles an hour can send things places nobody thought they'd go. And here's the kicker. We never did find that kid's head. Not that night, nor the next few days. Popped clean off, helmet and all, landing God knows where. Some folks say it landed in the back of a passing pickup truck carried upstate till the driver found it and ditched it in a river. But I can't say I have the humor to believe such a thing. Saddest part is, I knew this kid, nice kid, went to school with my cousin, wasn't any older than 20 or so, stocked shelves at the food lion, worked his bike in his spare time. His mama went to my church, meant a great deal to her that I was there that night, said it was God's providence. So I'd go out every night for almost a year looking for it. I'd pull over and look for an hour, look and pray, pray and curse, but nothing. All I got to do is close my eyes and I can picture that empty stretch of road perfectly. And the thing is, it burned me good knowing it was out there. It was somewhere on this earth and I couldn't find it. Part of me thinks no one can.